y'all and welcome to the Crazy Sock Lady YouTube channel. My name is Kay and today we're going to go over all of these Summer Sock Camp exclusive items that will be in the shop over at Crazy Sock Lady Co. this Saturday, May 28th. There's so much. As you guys can see, I am in the shop today. The lighting is not the best, but <laughs> that's what you get in this office so yeah the shop is very full as you can you can see behind me there is so much camp stuff this this is all camp stuff and then just our normal stock back here I've got some more yarn coming to fill in any empty spots you see back there it should be here today but I've got all the camp stuff. It was kind of touch and go. I was worried about the enamel pins, if they were gonna get here, but everything has arrived. I am getting all the final touches done on the website. If, if you go over to the website, it is down right now because I'm getting all the listings and everything ready and it's just easier <laughs> if the website is, is down while I do all of these things for this size of an update. <laughs> words are failing me this morning for this size of an update it's just easier if the website is down for the time being so that i can freely go on and get all the listings up and ready a little sip of coffee it's still pretty early first let me go ahead and tell you the times for the update in case you forget and i should start off if you were just pulling this video up and you were like what is summer sock camp I will link the Summer Sock Camp info video. It is basically a sock knit along. This is our third annual, takes place throughout the summer. All the details are in the video and also can be found on the Crazy Sock Lady Ravelry group. Times for the update. So we are doing an in-person shopping. I have inventory for both in-person and online for the camp items, so don't worry about that. Some people have been very worried that things might sell out during in-person. I have inventory for both, so no need to worry um, about something selling out during in-person and you not being able to get it online later. I've got you covered. In-person shopping will take place May 28th from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. The address for the shop will be listed down below. It is over on the website as well. So 10 a.m., 3 p.m., I'll be here, the shop will be open. We will have a couple of tents set up outside, just little pop-up tents, and some chairs. I do recommend bringing a chair, um, just because we don't have very many, and I don't know what to expect as far as how many people are coming. So if you can bring a chair, and you, you, know, you wanna hang out and you can bring your own chair, that is definitely recommended. We will have stations set up for yarn winding. If you're wanting to buy some camp yarn and then immediately cast your socks on and hang out for a bit, you can do that. We will not have any knitting taking place inside. Again, just because I'm not sure what to expect with the amount of people. So that's why we're doing the tents outside and all the knitting will be outside. And then just in here will be shopping. And I think we'll have yarn winding set up in the knitting room. We'll figure all that out. <laughs> but yes, I just wanted to make sure everyone knew that knitting will be outside so that you can kind of prepare. Um, the weather looks like it's gonna be very nice. Hopefully, fingers crossed, knock on wood. It's not saying that it should be too hot or rain all day or anything like that. So it should hopefully be a very nice day to cast on your summer sock camp socks here at the shop outside. Online, if you're not local, our online update will take place May 28th, this Saturday, same day at 4 p.m. Eastern. So you can head on over to the shop then, it'll be back up. All the camp stuff will be on there and other camp items as well, because I wanted to make sure the shop was fully stocked, just because it was fun to bring in everything, but also because any yarn that you purchase from Crazy Sock Lady Co., whether it's a camp exclusive yarn or not, and you make a pair of socks for that for Summer Sock Camp, you will get an extra entry. So I made sure we have plenty of options, just in case the camp items do sell out, you still have, have plenty of options over in the shop, and some great ones too. I don't know if you guys can see back there, but we've got, some homespun house that came in that'll be in the shop. We've got a lot of Polka Dot Creek, Kimber's Cozy Creations. We are now carrying Knit Circus, so we have Knit Circus yarns as well. Some gradient sets and some other yarns. Gonna be a very, very large update. But okay, this video is about the camp exclusives because I have not shared all of them just yet. Some of them you will have seen already, but not all of them. So let's just start in, I've got Everything's set up over here. 
we have our mugs. This is something we did the first summer sock camp. We did not do this style of mug last year, but we brought them back this year. I love this color of green. It looks so good with the logo. So we have our camp exclusive mug. These ones I forgot to take out of their little bags. We have our wooden progress keepers. We had these last year as well. These are by Fan Girl Fibers. So much detail. They are wood. They have a silver lobster clasp. We also have two other progress keeper options this year. These were made by Bronze Shepherd Studio. Our first one is a, a cute little s'more. And then we also have a campfire. Super cute. Love these little things. Our enamel pens, I was so worried we're not gonna get here. They were ordered forever ago, but we they just had delay after delay. We have, we've done these every year, I think, right? Yes, we've done these every year. <laughs> um, this one is just our main camp logo. Might not be able to see it very well. And then we also did cabin logos. So we have Magic Loop. They all look the same. They just say the different cabins on them. Magic Loop, Nine Inch Circular, Wild Card, and DPN. And these do all have the black rubber backing on them. It's my favorite for enamel pens. We have keychains this year. Monster Knits had these um, done and they are such amazingly good quality. So here they have both the key ring and a big lobster clasp. Summer Sock Camp logo. Oop, almost dropped it. And then they also say Crazy Sock Lady Co. on the back. We have our Notions tins. These are a staple in the shop. Many of you may already have these. If not, they are the perfect size for your sock bag. These hold my favorite notions. So inside you're gonna find 50 light bulb um, progress keepers, 10 of my favorite tiny little stitch markers, and my favorite size tapestry needle. It all fits perfectly inside this tiny little tin. These ones have the Summer Sock Camp logo on them. We have journals this year. So these were made by Mad Cow Designs and Mandy did such an amazing job with these. Has the logo on the front. Says Crazy Sock Lady on the back and Mad Cow Designs. Then on the inside, you have goals for camp, a page to put your goals. And then you have project pages. And I believe if I'm remembering correctly, I should have looked, I believe there's 19 spots, like 19 projects can fit in here. So I think that's an amazing amount for summer sock camp. So these will be in the update as well. Now bags and yarn, that's kind of all of the, the little goodies like that. I think that's everything. I'm kind of looking around to make sure I have not forgotten any of those little things, but I think that's it for those. Bags, let's start there. So we have some bags. What do we have? One, two, three, five bag options. This one is 
so precious. This is by Midwest Stitches. And it's a camp fabric on one side and a sock fabric on the other. It is a snap bag. I've been using mine and I absolutely love it and love the size. It's the fabric on the inside and then you do have a lobster clasp in here to hook some of your notions or snips. Great size bag. We have a bag from Happy Mermaid Yarn. I have my socks in here right now that I'm knitting. So this one is in use, but this is our camp bag from Happy Mermaid Yarn. I need to remember to show you guys these socks that I knit up with one of the sock sets. And we have three different bag options from Mountain State Stitches. You guys might have saw these back here on this wall. We have so many of these and I love these fabrics so much. So these are all in her small size bag. We have sock fabric. There's the insight on that one. I love those two fabrics together. These are drawstring, boxed bottom. We have one, this one has a camper fabric. That's the inside. They're all the same size. And then this one, I do have yarn <laughs> caked up and ready to cast on. This one is so fun. This one might, I love them all, but I don't know, this one might be my favorite with the mug and the s'more supplies and the campfire. There's the inside fabric on that one. I'll show you guys the yarn I've caked up in just a minute. Okay, those are our five project bag options. Then our yarns this year, we have one, two, three, four, five different yarn dyers as well. So our first yarn dyer is Leaf of Faith Yarns and we have four colorways from her. So this one is Vintage Camper. It's getting blown out just a bit. Let's try that. It's a little better. Toasting marshmallows. I love this one and I think it matches so well with this bag. So toasting marshmallows. Spark. I can't wait to see how this one knits up. And along the lake. These four colorways are available on fingering and DK because any way of yarn works for summer sock camp. So you can knit up some DK socks. They are great. Get a head start on those to have them for the winter. Um, so yeah, these are available in fingering and DK. We have yarn from Happy Mermaid Yarn. This is just the summer sock camp 2022 yarn from them. It's a sock set. So you get a full skein and then a 20 gram mini skein. There we go. This is Gone Camping. That one is only available in fingering weight. We do have some yarn from Mama Jess Knits. These are available in fingering and DK. This is a Summer Sock Camp 2022. It's available in a single skein, fingering and DK. And then a sock set, fingering or DK. We have mini skein sets. These are by Kimber's Cozy Creations and these are available in fingering and DK as well. 
These are so perfect. What else? All right, and then we also have Bumblebee Acres. I was so excited when they reached out to me about doing a wholesale order for a Summersock Camp colorway, and they did not disappoint. I'm actually realizing I grabbed two of the same base. Let me grab the other base so you can see the difference because we have two different base options. They're both fingering weight for this one, but we have their coquette and their squishy sock. So here's both of them together. This is coquette. This is squishy sock. I really does not want to focus on these. There we go. So this is called Camp Fires and Fireflies is the main skein and Dusk is the mini skein. So their coquette sock is a 75% superwash Corydale, 25% nylon, three ply. And I've used it for socks for, I think Eric got those socks. And it is definitely a more rustic base, but it, they work up so nice and sturdy for socks. So that's the Coquette, and then their Squishy is just a 75% Superwash Merino, 25% Nylon. So you have the option, their sock sets, um, both of them come with a mini skein, but you have the option on which base you would prefer. And I love that they did a custom band for the sock sets with the Summer Sock Camp logo. Very cute. So that is our camp exclusive items. Oh, I wanted to show you the socks. I knit these for Eric out of the Happy Mermaid. Pull it out of here. This one. This is how that sock set knit up. I did do my little pop of color at the cuff that I love to do. It worked up so beautiful. Eric loves it because he thinks it looks like camo. <laughs> so that was out of the Happy Mermaid. Now the yarn that I caked up in here, I split one skein of the Mama Jess Knits with my friend Kristen. And we are gonna do the scrappy stripy socks that I'll link my project page for down below. You've probably seen me knitting them by now because I'm obsessed. And do the Mama Jess along with the mini skeins from Kimber's Cozy Creations. So this will be the main color and then we'll stripe in the mini skeins. I think they go so well together. Let me pull out the full skein so you can really see. They have all the same colors. Yeah, I think they just go so, so nice together. So I haven't caked up the minis yet, but I split that skein the other day, put it in a bag, but I actually think I need to put toasting marshmallows in here and then the other one in here, because it'll match. Does anyone else do these things? Okay, I think that's all I've got to share today. I hope that you guys are super excited about Summer Sock Camp. Um, I know there's gonna be questions about will there be restocks? I do have some of my um, vendors that can do a restock. We will cross that bridge if and when we come to it. I don't know what to expect. I have a ton of inventory as you can tell. So we will cross that bridge and I will announce any restocks if and when they can slash need to happen. <laughs> so we will we'll cover all that if we need to. But I hope y'all are ready to knit all the socks this summer. I can't wait. I've already been going sock crazy and casting on a bunch of socks, but that's okay because I can't win my own prizes anyways. <laughs> but it's just going to be so fun to do our third annual summer sock camp and knit all, all the socks with y'all. It's so fun to come together. I feel like it really is something each year that's brought everybody together and created such an amazing community around Crazy Sock Lady and around Summer Sock Camp. So I'm excited for this year. I hope to see some of you in person here on Saturday if you're local or somewhat local. And if not, oh, one last thing. 
I have had some emails come in about combining orders when you order online. So we are always happy to combine any orders, but you do need to email us with the order numbers. Um, otherwise, I cannot guarantee that we will catch it. So if you order, have multiple orders on Saturday when you order online, that's fine. I'm happy to combine the shipping. Just send me an email. It's right there on your order when you place the order and you get that email. Just email me with your order numbers so that I can make sure that those get combined because otherwise we may not catch it. And all orders, I'm hoping to have all orders. I don't know what to expect, <laughs> but I'm hoping to have all orders out by this next Friday. So we are gonna start working on them immediately from the get-go on Saturday, we're gonna start prepping things because I wanna get these things out to you as soon as possible. So we'll start prepping them, start getting everything ready. Um, we're gonna work through the weekend and through next week. And hopefully all orders will be out by Friday. I'll keep you guys up to date on that. Instagram is always the best place to get updates. I know not everybody's on there, but that is for sure the best place to get updates about anything and everything Crazy Sock Lady. So I'll keep everybody updated to, as where we are with the orders and things over on Instagram. But I think that's it. I am going to hop over on Instagram for an Instagram Live to show these items here in just a minute. And I will see y'all later. Hopefully I'll get a regular podcast episode up maybe the week after next. We'll see how many orders I have to pack next week. And then the week after next, maybe I'll be back with a, an episode to catch all up on all the sock craziness that we know is about to begin. <laughs> So I'll chat with y'all soon. Until then, happy knitting. Bye.